A 6'7", athletic and physical freak with the ball in his hands, Cal State Northridge sophomore Lamine Genet is looking to make his draft dreams come true. The two-time Big West Player of the Year was unguardable throughout both of his seasons in the conference, showcasing his ability to score from every area on the floor and averaging 25 points per game. He also showed flashes of extreme defensive versatility, guarding virtually every position on the court. Janae came to America just over five years ago to fulfill his dreams of playing professional basketball. Still relatively unknown playing at a smaller school, Janae's skill set could turn him into one of the steals of the draft. Welcome into another edition of the Prospect Podcast. I'm Ethan Piotta, and a few days ago, I had the opportunity to sit down with 2020 NBA draft prospect Lamine Janay of Cal State Northridge. We discussed everything from his journey to America just five years ago, his college career, some of his strengths and weaknesses on the basketball court, and more. So without further ado, here's our conversation. So once again, joining us today is two-time Big West Conference Player of the Year and 2020 NBA draft prospect Lamine Janay. Appreciate you coming on today, Lamine. How's it going? I'm doing good. How about you? Doing well, man. So first and foremost, throughout quarantine and the COVID-19 pandemic, how have you kind of been able to stay in game shape and, and continue to get working? Uh, just trying to put out some work, you know. Like, I find the gym, so I'm just going there and having likes and lifting, like, you know, on my free time. You have a really remarkable story moving to America, you know, five years ago uh, from Senegal to further your basketball career uh, and overcoming so much along the way. What has the process of learning a new language in English and kind of being in a whole new cultural setting been like for you? At the beginning, it was kind of like for stated, you know, just like coming out of another country without speaking the language. So it was kind of hard at the beginning, but you know, the more time it goes, I was just like, you know, catching up and started learning faster. Coming out of high school, you were receiving interest from a number of schools. What went into you committing to Cal State Northridge? Uh, I went to like CSUN because like, you know, I trust like the stuff. I know like one of the assistant coach, like when I was like probably 16, 17. So that made me like decide to want to go there. Did you watch any basketball players uh, growing up that you kind of looked up to or tried to model your game after? Yeah, I like watching KD, Tracy McGrady, like, you know, the top, one of the top, like, best players in the league. So I've been watching yeah. all of them. So getting to your game, you know, you're a prospect that is extremely productive. You put up the numbers to support that these past two years. But what would you say is one skill or trait that you have physically or mentally that kind of separates yourself from others? Uh, I can rebound the ball very well. And, you know, I can play defense and I can, like, do both sides on the court. I can play, like, offense and defense. So I'm more like a like, two-way player. So I think I got better attention there. These past two years in the Big West, you've been a guy that basically no one can match up with because, you know, you're 6'7", super long wingspan, can put the ball on the floor. Has ball handling always come naturally to you or is it something that you really had to work on uh, over these past few years to put it into your game? Uh, I mean, I, I've been like, you know, playing the wing most of the time in my life. So I used to handle the ball like, you know, more a lot and now it's just like more like naturally I just like work on it like you know like trying to get it better. Do you think that's something that like at the NBA level could be super valuable like do you, do you view yourself as a guy that can for example grab a rebound on one end and kind of just push the ball up the floor and initiate offense that way? Yeah I think like I I can like really like do that like if I keep like developing like my handles. So. So again, but you shot around 73% at the rim this past season, which is an mm -hmm. insane number. Is that mm -hmm. something you take pride in, being able to finish through contact and, and around bigger players and over smaller guys? Yeah, I, I just be like, you know, every time I like, trying to find my mismatch and find my way to finish on the defense over the context. So that's something like I really work on every time, like when I work out. So. I think like now it's more like naturally like, you know, doing it in game. Defensively, what's your mindset like as far as like making an impact goes? Do you take more pride in getting a steal or a block or locking down someone one-on-one? -on -one? 
uh, kind of just, you know, being in the right spot and help defense or, you know, just overall stopping a defensive possession? What matters more to you on that end? Uh, I like to be like mostly like, you know, like uh, on the sideline or half side, like, you know, trying to like, you know, have my team and, you know, trying to like, like get some easy, easy still if I can and block every time. But like on defense, just more like pride, you feel me like, yeah. I cannot let my, you know, I can let my player, like, score. So, mm-hmm. it's, like, just more pride for sure. Right. You showed flashes sticking on defense of being able to guard multiple positions. Is that something you think will translate to the next level? Because, you know, you kind of – you were able to guard positions one through five at times uh, at uh, Cal State Northridge this year. Yeah, I think that's the, that's something, like, can really, like, help me, like, at the next level because I think – I'll be like able to grow like one to the four. So mm-hmm. I think so. It's a good thing for me, like to able like to have that. What areas of improvement in your game are you specifically focusing on or working on right now? Um, areas that like if you are to improve could take your game to the next level. I probably my body and you know always working on my hand and my shots and my shooting. So that's something I'll be looking like to improve every time. Favorite basketball mm-hmm. player you've ever watched? Uh, I ever watched probably Kevin Durant. That's for sure. Favorite favorite artist? Uh, probably Future. <laughs> Future <laughs> McNeil and Gunner. I think that's there you go. that's what I listen to most. Greatest moment of your basketball career and why? Um, it's probably when I came to the United States because, like you know, it gave me like a lot of opportunity, like you know, mm-hmm. so. Probably when I came to here. You get that first NBA contract. What are you putting it towards? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot just, you know, do something like that. You know, everything got to be like set. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lastly, if an NBA team drafts or signs Lamine Janae, what are they getting in you and, and what can you bring to the table on and off the court? Uh, Probably a lot of things. It's like just more than a talking. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not good at really talking, but it's like, you know, something like you got to like show up when you're on the course. So. Gotcha. All right. Well, I mean, really appreciate you joining me today. Uh, hoping the best for your basketball career. Uh, and thanks for coming on. All right. Thank you.